Good day, great and learners. We are about to begin our second quarter, week one, on the topic electromagnetic wave. In this video lesson, we are going to trace the development of the electromagnetic wave theory by recognizing these different scientists based on their contributions to the said field. Let us begin with Andre Marie Ampere, who was born in 1775 and died in the year 1836. He was a French physicist and mathematician. He founded the science of electrodynamics, now known as electromagnetism. Electrodynamics is the branch of physics wherein it deals with the different electric charges which are in motion. He developed theories to understand the relationship between electricity and magnetism simply by demonstrating the magnetic effect based on the direction of current in a given circuit. The next scientist is Michael Faraday, who was born in the year 1791 and died in the year 1867. He was an English physicist and chemist who introduced the idea that magnetic field is made up of lines of force. In relation to the electromagnetic wave theory, he was the one who formulated the principle behind the electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction is generating electricity by means of a changing magnetic field. Next to our list is Heinrich Hertz, born in the year 1857 and died in the year 1894. He is a German physicist and showed experimental evidence of electromagnetic waves and their link to light by confirming the existence of electromagnetic waves in a great range of frequencies or wavelengths, of which, again, visible light is only a small part of it. Also, remember, the unit of frequency, which is a measure of the number of waves that pass through in a given time, is named after him which is Hertz. The fourth scientist involved in the field of electromagnetic wave theory is James Clerk Maxwell, who was born in the year 1831 and died in the year 1870. He was a Scottish scientist and credited for the discovery of microwaves. Microwaves is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. He was also the one to discover the electromagnetic wave nature of light and light is also part of the electromagnetic spectrum. He is also credited for the development of the equations now known as the Maxwell's equations to completely describe the electromagnetic field based on how it is produced and propagated. Our last scientist in this lesson will be Hans Christian Oersted, who was born in the year 1777 and died in the year 1851. A Danish physicist and chemist who was able to show how a current carrying wire behaves like a magnet because he was the one who accidentally discovered that a current carrying wire or conductor produces a magnetic field. Andre Marie Ampere, Michael Faraday, Heinrich Hertz, James Clerk Maxwell, and Hans Christian Oersted are the five different scientists who had their different contributions to the development of the electromagnetic wave theory. But in the meantime, we proceed with the different parts of the electromagnetic spectrum which are composed of the different electromagnetic waves. We begin with the radio waves, the microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, the ultraviolet rays, the x-rays, and the gamma rays. I'll be leaving you with a mnemonic device for you to be able to memorize by heart and by mind 
how these waves are arranged in the electromagnetic spectrum. And this how it goes. Red Martians invade Venus using X-ray guns. So the letters before the letters of each word will be corresponding to the different electromagnetic waves of the electromagnetic spectrum. The properties, transmission, and propagation of the electromagnetic waves will be discussed in the next video. And with that, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message in the comment down below. And thank you for listening and watching to this video lesson. Goodbye!